Good. Here's Mr. Rager. We're going to do a quick video here for page 1074. And uh, this one we're going to talk about getting fractions to have the same denominator so that we can compare them, see which is smaller, which is larger, okay? And um, actually we're going to look at page um, 3 here at the bottom and then talk about page 4 and leading up to specifically doing a problem here on uh, page 4. But let's talk about equivalent fractions for just a minute. Um, I like to use the illustration of pizza when I talk about fractions just because I know teens like pizza or maybe like pie, okay? But let's take, uh, let's take pizza for instance and if I wanted to compare one third and one fourth, okay, and eighths, if I had these, let's say they're all the same pizzas, all the same size, and I took my pizza cutter and I cut this one into thirds, I'm going to cut this one into fourths, okay, this one into eighths. Now sometimes students think, ooh, if I eat an eighth of a pizza, I'm eating more. Actually, one eighth would only be one slice out of eight, right? And one fourth would be one slice out of four. So if you had a choice here, you would want actually one third, okay? Now, in order to... Um, In order to compare, let's compare like one fourth and three eighths. Let's just take these, the two fractions, one fourth and three eighths, and figure out which is more. Okay? Right now they don't have the same denominator. One way is I could draw a picture, shade it in, so one fourth would be this much, and two fourths would be the same. I mean, two eighths is the same as one fourth. And then if I shade in the third, now I've shaded in three eighths and this is one-fourth. So we can see that three-eighths is actually more than one-fourth, okay? One-fourth is less than three-eighths. So we can say that two one-fourth is the same as two-eighths. I've gotten now uh, the same denominator. We call that the least common denominator, the LCD, which happens to be the, um, the least common multiple, same thing, okay? So they have the same denominator now, 8. Now I can compare 2 eighths with 3 eighths. And so the symbol that I'll draw between here is the less than symbol. Now, do you remember how to keep straight less than, greater than? Okay. Less than, greater than. The small end is always next to the small number. The fat end of this symbol is always next to the fat number, okay? So this is closer to the small number, 2 eighths. And so the big end is close to the big number, 3 eighths. So I would read that as 1 fourth, 2 eighths, 1 fourth is less than 3 eighths. Now let's go back <clears throat> and uh, let's tackle this problem 37 because that's probably the hardest one on that page. We're going to put these in order. Now I'm looking at all of these denominators and realizing that um, they're not all the same. I've got uh, 3, 4, 8, 16. Wow. Now one of the tips in the page said that if you can look at um, one of the denominators and say, oh, I can multiply 4 times something and get 16. Yes, you can. I can multiply 8 times 2 and get 16. Then that 16 is your least common denominator. The problem here is I've got three, okay? But three is a prime number. So now what I do is I take this one, the big number, 16, and I'm gonna multiply it times three and get 48. So now I need to rewrite all of these fractions having a denominator of 48. So, what do I have to multiply times 40, times 3 to get 48? 16. So my numerator here is 16. I'm going to leave the big 2 out front. What do I have to multiply times 4 to get 48? And the answer is 12. So this would be 12. I'm going to leave the 2 out front. What do I have to multiply times 8 to get 48? 6. 
6 times 3 is 18, and that one does not have a number in front. 16 times 3, okay, would be 48. So I'm going to take the 3 also times 3 and get 9. That does have the 2 in front. And then this was also 16 times 3, which would make that 21. All right. Now, the la now that I have a common denominator with all of these, I can go back and put them in order from smallest to greatest. So the two that do not have a number in front, I need to deal with first. Okay, so I'm going to let you do that. You choose these two, write them down in the correct order, then go back and look at these three and figure out which one would come third, fourth, and fifth. All right, but the hard part we kind of did together there. I hope, hopefully you understood that. And that will help you do the next problem, because I think on 38, they all have a 3 in front. And so you just need to find the common denominator, rewrite all of them with a common denominator, and then you can list them in order from smallest to greatest. Now, I think actually for the answer, they want you to use these numbers. So this helps you see which one, but then you go up here. So you say, okay, this one came first, right? Is that what you figured out? So you'll list that one first, and then you'll list the next one. Look here, but go up here and take the answer, okay? And then go through the rest of the problem that way. Hopefully that helps. Uh, we'll try to do some more videos for Pace 74 a little bit later.